In nursery and reception, children explore the use of different digital devices such as cameras, iPads, whiteboards, beatbots, games and different apps. In year one, I learnt how to write a simple algorithm and instructions with a b-bot. I made the b-bot go forwards, backwards, left and right and it followed the instructions. In year two, I used Scratch. I selected a sprite and added a backdrop. By clicking on this, my sprite is a dog, which is wearing a spacesuit, and the backdrop comes with a space background. In year three, we used Scratch to create an animation. First, I created my sprite by clicking on paint and drew a cat. Then, I added a backdrop. As you can see, I have added coding blocks for motion to make my sprite move. I also used looks and sound in my coding script. I added another sprite and used the broadcast and when I received blocks to allow two sprites to have a conversation. In year 4, we learnt how to create an educational game. From the previous years, I know how to use the control, motion and lock blocks. After adding sprites, costumes and backdrops, I use variables to add scores to my game. I use the sensing blocks to ask questions and the if-then-else blocks to set conditions. I use the repeat loop coding block to ask repeated questions 10 times and once it has asked a number of questions then the game stops. I also used lots of animation and sounds in my game to make it fun. In year 5 we had to create our own game. I used my previous knowledge to create animated sprites, control, motion, sound and look coding blocks. After I added sprite, backdrop and costumes I created a prototype by controlling the movement of my sprite by going to obstacles and rewards set in the game. This can be done through using variables and if then else blocks. Since I have other sprites in my game, they interact by sensing and touching blocks. I added sounds to my balloon and the score would change depending if the dinosaur would be hit by the balloon or not. In the end, the costume will change the game over if the dinosaur is hit by the balloon 10 times. In year 6, we learned how to use a text-based programming language called Python. I created a text-based adventure game and the outcome in Python was what I typed. An interesting story which you could see on the screen. I included commands on Python by typing print and what I wanted in brackets and then I clicked run to run the code. Once I typed it, I included the main syntax such as colons and indents to run the code properly. My coding also included variables and procedures to make my story interesting. 